是爸。好的。
but she if you my family in God. Now, it's not it's not that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand with you, but I'm gonna talk with you. See, this is the thing, and and and, and, and listen, I, I get ministered all the time by my children. You understand? My son said, let me tell you something. If you a person that's so so much in the church that you can't sit down with people, you can't sit down with people that and, and you don't agree with what they doing or who they are, and you can't sit down with them, you miss the whole point of knowing Jesus. You miss it because it's the love of God. What I find out now, you know, what we're doing now, if you know what, we're killing everybody. You get get on get on get on Facebook. Get on, I mean, you kill everybody. Every pastor, every preacher, every prophet, anybody trying to do anything good, we kill them. And then we try to brand ourselves. We brand ourselves as killers. We wait to see somebody mess up so that we can talk about them. Talk about how much of a man of God or how much of a woman of God they are not. Look at what they did wrong. Look at what they said wrong. Look at where they are. Look at what they're doing. What are you doing? You just ain't out there. Let me tell you something. The enemy ain't even worried about you if you ain't uh, uh, uplifting God. He'll let you do whatever the hell you want to do. He will. And be happy about it. But if you ever start loving like God says love, you ever start doing what Jesus says do, that's when you get upset. And what we're doing, like I say, we, we make out, look, we killing people, you know, and we make a brand of ourselves by killing folk. That ain't what God told us to do. You find, you find your brothers and your sister in trouble, you ought to be lifting them up. That's what he told us to do. Lift them up. Pray for them. Not drag them. Not talk about them. Lift them up. I'm going back to this again. I see all we do is trying to brand ourselves. God ain't never tell none of us to brand ourselves. He ain't tell me to blow Grand Hill up. He told me to talk about him. The problem, the reason we got now, we ain't talking enough about him. We're not blowing him up. And that's why you don't see miracles, things that God still do. He still does. But see, we don't know, we don't, we don't understand because it's, it's, the, it's our faith and everything else. You know, we, we don't really believe no more. We don't. We don't believe. We believe. We'll believe the TV. We'll believe the doctor. We'll believe anybody else except. If you, you, there are some places that you can go out of the United States that that people still believe because they don't have what we got. They don't have no other choice but to believe, like how we used to be before we got so much. <laughs> See, see one, one time, one time you had to believe to get a car. You had to have faith to get a car. Y'all don't have to have no faith to get no car. Now all y'all need is good credit and some money. And most of y'all got that. So guess what? You don't, you don't have faith for that. But there was one time you used to have to have faith for it. You used to have to believe it before you could even see it because you know before you went on that car lot you ain't had good credit and you didn't have no money. 
And you say, Lord, I need a car to get to work because I got these five kids. Well, now I'm trying to get us to stand together now and not be divided. But I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. This ain't nothing but the naked truth. You understand? Because, listen, when you go to other countries, they're hungry. When you go to other countries, they're really going through some. When you go to other countries, don't nobody have to pump nobody when they come to church, when they come to worship, when they know that there's a word there, when they know that there's a gathering. Don't nobody have to pump nobody to clap their hands, put their hands up, tell God thank you. We done got so blessed now. I mean, we, we got suits. We put them back. Pull out something else. Yeah. Trying to figure out what shoes we going to wear. What dress. You know, there was one time all you had was one pair. <laughs> and after you got finished, your brother had to wear them. <laughs> but what he says is that he says, I need you to understand that I want you to stand. Yes. Not, not, not look like we stand, but stand. Really be there. Stand. Because let me tell you, everything is going to continue to happen. That's why I told you last, but two years, I mean, uh, three weeks ago, I said, if you're looking for me to tell you what about to happen in 2024, you better go ahead and find a prophet or somebody else that can tell you. Because I already know in, in my, in, in my uh, thought what's going to happen. Ain't nothing going to happen if we don't change. The same thing going to happen. Same thing that been happening going to happen again. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything that has been will be. Now there's a time and there's a season for everything. And you got to figure out what time and what season you need. We did, we did Bible study not long ago and we talked about the seven different churches name, in the book of Revelation. And I'm trying to tell you, it tells you exactly where we are. Whether you want to be in that church or not, we are one of those churches. The, the kingdom of God and, and the United States and all of that, we are one of those churches. You better figure out what church we are. He said, I got one thing against you. You left your first love. You divorced me. After all I done done for you. You divorced me. You asked for a separation. After all I done done for you, you walked out on me. That's the only thing I hold against you, but guess what? Because I'm gone, I'm love. Because I'm God, here I stand. With my arms open to you. I'm not going to do what people do. I'm not going to pick out all of your faults. And I am perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. It's the imperfect people that will pick out your faults. God is. And God said, uh, yeah, he has to, because we wouldn't be here if God didn't look over all our faults. Yeah. 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 He has to look over all our faults and see our need. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing about it, we like, to, we like to make one bigger than the other. We like to pick up sin. And we got to make one sin bigger than the other sin. But the Bible says we all have sin. Anybody? No, no, no. Now watch this. It also tells you that uh, if you stand, how you gonna stand? It said, lay aside the sin. It, it, that's amazing. It don't say sins. It say the sin because that's all it takes. <laughs> that 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 weighs the very thing that so easily beset us. So today, it might be the sin. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Tuesday, 
It might be the sin. And you can name it whatever you want to name it. See? And see, the sin, everybody don't see the sin. Because sometimes the sin is just in your mind. So, sometimes the sin is just in your thoughts. Now, 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 I want you to understand. The sin can be, uh, I think that I'm better than you. The sin. Hallelujah. The sin is how I communicate with you. The sin. It, it can just be the, but whatever that's holding you back, you need to lay that aside. That so easily beset us, that puts us off the track and help us get back on track. Praise the name of God. And I don't have time to worry about yours. Hallelujah, because I got to deal with mine. <laughs> Hallelujah, because we got to run this race. Hallelujah, and each one of us got a race that we need to run. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And I'm so glad that, that, that when God begins to, to open up our mind and we realize that God has been good to us, uh, hallelujah, and, 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 and it's not because we're so special, but because it's who God is. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. It's because of his love. Yes. It's because of his grace. Yes. And because of his mercy. Yes. Now I want you to understand. There's one thing to make God happy. Yes. And the happiness. That, that how we make God happy. Is we just try. And we want to do good. Yes. Uh, that, that, that's what. The, that's what in the Bible now. It says if I delight myself in him. Yes. He'll give me the desire. Of my heart. Uh, right. Hallelujah. He didn't tell me to commit my ways. To any of you. Uh, he told me to commit my ways to him. He ain't say commit my ways to minister or to the deacons. Hallelujah. But guess what? If I commit my ways to God, if I love God, how can I say I love God? And how can I say I love my enemy? And how can I say I love my neighbor if I don't love God? Pray in the name of God because sometimes we'll say we love God. Hallelujah, but then we treat other people, hallelujah, like, like they're beneath us. And I came by to tell you, it's more than family standing together. We, we are the church of God, and we have to stand together. Praise the name of God. And, and I know at the beginning, it sounds like I was, like, like a young boy told me, Pastor, you're fussing real good. I uh, pray in the name of God. Uh, but I'm not here to fuss at you. Uh, but I'm just here to let you know uh, that if we stand together, uh, hallelujah, that's how we're going to make it. Uh, pray in the name of God. Uh, but if we don't stand together, uh, hallelujah, we're going to fall. Because uh, it says together we stand uh, and divided we fall. Uh, and I know what I'm talking about because I bless the Lord for where I stand now. Because I couldn't be here if nobody wasn't standing with me. I pray in the name of God. I couldn't be here last week or the week before if nobody was standing with me. Some of you wouldn't have been here uh, if nobody wasn't standing with you. Uh, and when I say standing, uh, there was somebody praying. Uh, there was somebody calling your name. Uh, there was somebody encouraging you. Uh, there was somebody holding you. Uh, there was somebody lifting you up. Uh, I pray the name of God. Uh, but what I like about God, uh, just in case uh, you can't find it in a human, uh, he said, what I need you to do and Lord, gird up your throne with truth. Shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel. I need you to get the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword, which is the word of God. I love the word of God. Somebody say, it's in God's word that I got a high. And I got a hiding place 
It's in God's word. Hallelujah. Because I found out through God's word that there were many people in the Bible that God called. And they found themselves all alone. Hallelujah. But even David, the Bible says that he had to come to a place that nobody else would have encouraged him. He had to encourage himself. Well, I came by to tell you, if nobody else will stand with you, find God. And God will stand. God will stand. When nobody else stands, when everything's going right, God will stand. When everything looks wrong, God will stand. When everything looks chaotic, God will stand. When everything hurts, God will stand. When you're full of pain, God will stand. When you are afflicted, God will stand. When your mind is regulated, God will stand. When you're depressed, God will stand. I'm standing. Because the yellow we stand, and if I ever fall, it's because I'm divided. But I found out something: nothing should separate us from the love of God. What shall separate us from the love of God? Is it nakedness? Is it peril? Is it sword? No, no, no. No, is it height? Is it death? No, is it angel? Is it creature? No, nothing shall separate me from the love of God. Nothing shall separate you from the love of God. Is it death? No, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. I'm standing out of the tomb. I live. I live. Because I'm. Standing. 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 We stand. Because of each other. I looked around. I said, my God. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the enemy came hard. You got the death in you. Come up in here. Hold on. Try to take yeah. our joy. Yeah. You had the death in you. Come up in oh, yes, here. Yeah. Everybody else is supposed to be celebrating. Yeah. And you try to take our job. Yeah. You went the wrong place, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to hurt. I'm going to cry. I'm full of pain. I'm full of hurt. But I'm going to stay.
I'm not. I don't mind if I tell you that. I ain't hanging out with the deacons all the time. Trustees. Church folk. Because I'm going where God told me to go. But I'll tell you something. When you know, come here, Kenny. Yeah. Come here, Frank. Come here, Dal. You get Austin. Yeah. Dean Johnson. Come on. Oh, yeah.
He's younger than me. But I got to bow down and respect at least. No, I got more experience. But don't tell me you don't know anything. How you going to tell me they don't know anything? Turn around. I need y'all to turn around and face them. If they don't know anything, they learn from y'all. for joining us today during our worship service. We are so grateful for your support of our ministry. If you would like to donate to Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church, there are many ways you can give. Visit us online at www.granthillbaptist.org and click on the Donate button. You will find several options through which you can donate. You can give by using your credit card, PayPal, or Cash App. For Cash App users, please use the cash tag Grant Hill Baptist. You can also mail your donation to Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church, 5405 Black River Road, Rembert, South Carolina, 29128. Please do not send cash through the mail. You can also bring your donation in person during our worship services on Sundays, beginning with Sunday school at 8.30 a.m. and worship service at 9 o'clock a.m. Again, thank you for your support, and may God continue to abundantly bless and keep you.